In this video, I'm going to reveal the best Klaviyo post purchase flow for 2025, designed to maximize repeat purchases and to turn first time buyers into loyal customers for life. The strategies I'm sharing aren't just theory, they're battle tested and proven to work. With this exact post purchase flow, I've helped e-commerce brands increase the customer lifetime value by up to 35%, boost repeat purchase rates by up to 40%, and add six figures of additional revenue within months. By the end of this video, you'll have a step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up a post-purchase flow that not only delights your customers, but also drives massive growth for your store in 2025. But first, why is it so important to have a high converting post purchase flow? The main reason is that it drives repeat purchases. So the post purchase flow is one of the most effective tools for turning first time buyers into returning customers. So it directly increases your revenue. And research shows that retained customers are nine times more likely to convert than first time buyers. And additionally, repeat customers spend 67% more than first time buyers. By strategically engaging buyers after the initial purchase, you can introduce them to new products, upsell complementary items, and make them keep coming back to your store. So this builds you a steady flow of revenue while reducing the reliance on expensive paid ads. The second reason why a post-purchase flow is so important because it helps you reduce returns to maximize your profit margin. So buyer's remorse is a major reason for returns which cuts into your profit margins. And a well-crafted post-purchase flow can help you reduce this buyer's remorse. And data shows that 95% of the customers who receive proactive post-purchase communication are less likely to return the product. So providing usage tips, care instructions, and building excitement for delivery in your post-purchase flow reduces the doubts, reduces the buyer's remorse, and helps to ensure that customers are happy with their upcoming delivery. So by reducing the buyer's remorse, you get less returns. Less returns means more revenue stays in your pocket. And the third reason is that you can increase your average order value by simply cross-selling different items. So the post-purchase period is the perfect timing for your brand to show them additional products that people could buy. Because the best moment for people to buy is right after the initial purchase. The research from HubSpot highlights that 60 to 70% of the existing customers are more likely to buy again from your brand compared to the 5 to 20% conversion rate first time buyers. So by recommending add-ons or upgrades that are complementary to the customer's purchase, you can significantly increase the average order value. Now we've talked about why the post-purchase flow is so important. Let's dive into the post-purchase flow outline. So this is the structure that we like to use. So first of all, we got the flow trigger, which is placed order. And we also have some flow filters in place. Place order zero times installing this flow and canceled order zero times installing this flow. So if someone has done a purchase but canceled it afterwards, this person won't receive the rest of this flow. Same goes if someone has placed an order after they place the initial order, they won't receive the rest of this flow. Then we got the build out of the flow. So first of all, we always like to make a split between first time buyers and returning customers because you speak to them in a different way. And you can even make this more advanced if you make a split for first time buyers, second time buyers, third time buyers, four time buyers, etc., etc. So you can even treat returning customers and your VIPs in a different way. But just for simplicity, we like to split based on first time buyers and returning customers. So the first email is just a simple plain text email. We want to thank them for buying, give them some important information, and we already want to give them a call to action to buy another item of your store. Then two days later, or based on your shipping times, we want to send them an email about that their order is on its way. Then three days later, or again, based on your shipping times. And then three days later, we want to send them a personalized email with specific info about the product they've ordered. So you want to make a split based on the product or the product category with again, tips and tricks on how to use the product in the best possible way. Then five days later, you could do a social media push and three days later, a local system push if those two things are applicable for your brand. And then a week later, you could do a personal check-in from the founder where you ask them, hey, did everything go well with your order? Do you have any questions? And of course, it's a good moment to try to cross sell them to different items. So this is the general outline that we like to use. And now you might wonder, okay, but how do I set this up inside Klaviyo? Well, let me show you. So we're in our demo account, and what we're going to do in the left menu, we're gonna hit flows, and then we're gonna create flow over here. And then we can select a basic flow from Shopify, but we're gonna build our own over here. I'm gonna call this post purchase demo flow. 
hit create flow. First of all, we need to select a trigger. In this case, that's going to be place order as I've just showed you. So over here, we see place order. Then we're going to add some profile filters as I already showed you. So add profile filter. Someone has done has placed order zero times since starting this flow. And someone has done has canceled order zero times since starting this flow. Hit save, hit save again. Then you have to confirm your trigger selection because you can't edit the trigger uh, afterwards. So hit confirm and save. And there you go. So now we can add a time delay for the first email. So let's make this 10 minutes, for example. And now we can add all the emails following the outline. And if you want to make a conditional split, like I showed you for email one, you want to make a split based on the amount of times that people have placed an order. So what we can do in that case is go to conditional split, put it before email one. Then we're going to say what someone has done. This place order is at least two times over all time. Hit save. So now we know on the yes path that someone has placed an order at least twice. So this is going to be the email for returning customers. And then on the no path, you know that it's going to be less than two, aka one time, aka a first time buyer. So we're going to put this on the no path, change the name, call this first time buyer. Hit save. And then for your second email, you want to put everything together again so it's on one path. So what you can do in that case is simply hit the rejoin button, put it over here. And now the two paths are coming together into one path again. And then you can add a time delay again and your second email and build out the rest of your flow. So this is how you make the post purchase flow in Clavio. Now let's dive into each specific email and how to craft it to make it high converting. But first, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to grow your business with email marketing. Now let's dive into the first email, email one, a thank you email. So this first email sets the tone for your post purchase experience. So it's going to be a plain text email from the founder, keeping it personal and authentic. So for first time buyers, this is your chance to make a memorable experience for them. Thank them for trusting your brand and reassure them that they made the right choice. For returning customers, it's about expressing gratitude for the loyalty and reinforcing the value of the decision to come back and buy from your brand. So again, it's really important that you make at least a split between first time buyers and returning customers. So what needs to be inside this email? First of all, we want to thank them sincerely. We want to confirm the order progress. we we'll talk about shipping times and stuff like that. We want to offer support. And optionally, you can cross all them to increase the average order value. So an example of such an email could be something like this. So, hey, Cameron, thank you for choosing Magic Linen. We're thrilled to have you in our community. With Magic Linen, we believe in empowering you to live life on your own terms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We talk about the shipping details. We say questions or thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Just reply to this email, which will boost our email delivery ability if they do, or visit our frequently asked question page for more info. Really simple, straightforward, short, plain text email. That's all you need. Then for this email, we also have some subject line ideas. And for all other emails, we have subject line ideas as well. Also preview text ideas. If you want to have access to all this information, make sure you go underneath this video, click on the first link in the description and you can download this full post purchase guide for free so again make sure to click on the link underneath this video now let's talk about email two so in this email we want to talk about the order that's on its way so in general we want to send this two days after the first email and what you want to do with this email is to reassure them that their order is actually on their way so this is a really vital email to make sure that we reduce the buyer's remorse so it's designed to build excitement around their purchase while also addressing any lingering buyer remorse by reminding them of the value that they will be experiencing soon and optionally you can use clavio's dynamic product feed to recommend them specific products based on the previous purchase so it's basically like a subtle cross-sell opportunity without being too pushy so what needs to be inside this email you want to reinforce the value of their purchase you want to build excitement for their delivery and optionally you can use clavio's product feed cross-sell them different items so an email example what you see in here is from one of our clients spice pots so we say flavor on the way uh, we talk about the delivery time and we say get ready for quick flavor pack meals with no stress and while you wait check these out so we show them some products product recommendations in here and then finally we have the food area with the brand USPs and the product categories to make it easy for people to go to a specific product category. It is a universal block that we use in every single email. Then we have email three. So this is going to be the how to email where we're going to give valuable information about a specific product that they've ordered. And the thing in here is that we want to be as specific as possible. So we don't want to send a generic email that's not applicable to someone's order because that's going to be a bad post purchase experience. And the goal is to make sure that people get the most out of their purchase. So we want to give them tips and tricks on how to to use the product in the best possible way 
so we can reduce the amount of returns and this will improve the customer experience as well and of course it shows that you generally care about their experience by giving them the tips and tricks that they need so what needs to be inside this email first of all personalization based on the purchase to so make splits based on product categories or products depending on what kind of brand you are you want to give clear and actionable product tips you want to reassure them that they made a good choice by buying from your brand and optionally you could link to frequently asked questions to manuals to videos etc everything that you need to do to give them the information that they need so an email example what we have in here is for a brand called smoko so getting started with your smoko e-cigarette so first of all we talk about how to use your smoko e-cigarette in easy steps then we ask a question that we often get is when to change your refill recharging your battery is also like a frequently asked question so we answer that and then we say fully charged in two hours and then we finally highlight them for need more tips or refills we're here to help to stock up on refills so it's as simply as that we give them answers to the most frequently asked questions and give them the best possible tips to make use of their just purchased item then we have email four this is optional and this is going to be a social media push so this email will encourage people to actually follow you on social media and of course social media isn't just for engagement but it's a form of social proof that builds trust with your customers so by getting them to follow and engage with your content you stay top of mind and you create opportunities for future purchases plus social media is another touch point to keep your brand top of mind within your audience so this email is optional and only applicable if your brand is really active on social media so what needs to be inside this email so a friendly invitation to follow you on social media and preferably only on one channel and of course you want to highlight the value of following you on social media so why should people follow you on social media so an email example what you see in here is for a brand called Sealy where we say let's get social join the silly party on social media so we've got all the behind the scenes moments fun tips exciting updates waiting for you on our socials and then we highlight their instagram in here and we even have an extra thing where we say want to win 250 dollars get your friends together post an ig reel or tiktok and tag let's see lead to show us how you're playing and celebrating so we even got an incentive for people to be active on social media for their brand then we have email five and also this email is optional if you have a loyalty system, I would definitely recommend using this email. So this email is a great way to introduce people to your loyalty system. And you want to explain them the benefits of joining the system. And if you didn't know, a loyalty system is a great way to increase the average order value, to increase the lifetime of your customer. And if you don't know already, a loyalty system is a great way to boost your customer retention. But to be honest, it's actually mandatory to have in 2025. So with this email, you want to highlight how the program rewards people for engaging with your brand and of course how you reward them for shopping with your brand so you want to make it an easy decision for them to engage with your brand so what needs to be inside this email so a friendly invitation to join the loyalty system a clear explanation of the benefits of points discounts etc the emphasis on how easy it is to join the loyalty system and a strong call to action to sign up so an email example what we have in here for is for smoko where we say earn points save money so with smoker points you can earn rewards every time you shop review or refer a friend learn about smoker points which goes to a special landing page and then we give some more information in the email itself so where we say ways to earn smoker points it can be with submitting a google review with every purchase by referring a friend by sharing on social media and then we also share how to redeem points so for 500 points you get five pounds off or thousand points you get 10 pounds off etc etc so you show them what they need to do to get points and what they can do with these points and then refer them to a special landing page which gives them all the information they need and how to get started with this loyalty system and then finally we have email six and this is going to be a personal check-in so this email sent from the founder is a personal touch point to ensure the customer's experience with their order was smooth so it shows that your brand generally cares about their experience so in addition to offering support course you can use this email to encourage customers to buy again from your brand so this email is actually a big revenue maker if you do it in a way that i'm about to show you so what needs to be inside this email a personal message from the founder acknowledge their recent purchase and express care offer support or assistance if needed and optionally you can do a call to action to do another purchase within your store so a simple email could be something like hey james we hope your little ones are loving their, their new magical activity there's nothing we enjoy more than knowing kids are having fun creating memories and sparking their imaginations all while parents are getting a well-earned moment of peace if there's anything we can help with tips tricks or questions just hit reply to this email love to hear from you warmly john from kids create so in this case we're not cross them different items it's just a general email from the founder where 
we basically want to offer them our support. Plus the upside is, is if people respond to this email, is a good thing for your email deliverability. So there's just a win-win situation with this email. And that's how you can create the best Playfield post purchase flow to turn one-time buyers into loyal repeat customers in 2025. But a great post purchase flow is just one piece of the puzzle. To truly maximize your email marketing strategy, you need a clear path for your campaigns throughout the year. That's why I created a full course on the best email marketing calendar in 2025. It's your ultimate guide to staying organized and generating consistent revenue for your brand. So click here to watch it. And if you found this video, you helpful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more actionable tips on email marketing for e-commerce brands and make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new video anymore thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one